Here we're doing our test for shoulder health and you can see she's got a pretty good healthy shoulder and that I can't see her ear and her arm is straight up and down. Here we've got the banded overhead distraction stretch. She's attached the band to some solid object, looped her hand through, and is just leaning back slightly with her own body weight to allow her shoulder to stretch. This next exercise is a push-up. Um, one of the keys to the push-up is to keep your core straight and firm, and not let your uh, midsection sag. She's gonna line up, keep your chin kind of neutral, back straight, chest down, and then up. If you can't do those, you can go to your knees, do the same thing. Here we've got the super front rack stretch. Again, the band is attached to something solid and she stepped forward. She's allowing her lat and her shoulder to feel the stretch. This next exercise is the bear crawl. Basically, you're gonna crawl around on your all fours. Here we've got the overhead press. She's gonna curl the dumbbell up and then press straight overhead and hold for three seconds and back down. So this is gonna be the reverse shrug. I'm doing it on a set of parallel bars. You could also do it between two chairs with your feet on the ground. We'll talk about that one in a minute. So you're gonna just get at the top of the dip. We're not gonna do dips. We're just gonna let our body shrug down. As you can see, my shoulders have come up by my ears. And then I'm gonna press up and hold down and hold again. That's the reverse shrug. So this is the alternate to the reverse shrug. I'm doing it between a bench and a cooler. You could do it with two chairs. Um, this is also the easier version because I've got my feet on the ground. It's the same thing, I'll let my shoulders come up around my ears, press out and hold. If you're doing this version, you might want to add a few more reps. In this, we're gonna do the depth push-ups. You wanna raise your hands somewhere between 20 and 40 centimeters off the ground. You can get in the push-up position against a nice tight back. Push-up, hold at the bottom, and then press up. At the end of this exercise, you're gonna hold a plank in this elevated position with your arms straight for as long as you can. Um, again, the key is to keep straight and tight and not let your body sag or arch. Here we've got the child stretch. She's gonna really lean into it and feel that stretch um, along her shoulders and her upper back. Here we've got the oblique uh, child stretch. It's the same as we were doing before, but she's going off to one side and you can really feel that in the upper back. This exercise, we're gonna do the pull-up, and then I'm gonna show you the horizontal row, which is the other option. So for the pull-up, hands away from you. You wanna hang, get a nice stretch. Go to your chins over the bar, and back down. A nice option if you can't do a pull-up or don't have access, is you get T-Rex straps, um, rings, there's other options, just kinda anything that you can pull off of. You're gonna get down, hands to chest. To make it easier, you can actually bend your feet. That's the pull-up. Here's the banded front raise, and this one she's stepped on the band. You could also anchor it. You're just raising your arm in front of you, nice and controlled, with a slight pause at the top. Here we're doing the banded bent over row. So she's stepped on the band to anchor it. She's pulling her hands straight up, and when she gets to her chest, she's pausing for two seconds. You should really feel that in the upper back and shoulder. Here's the banded side raise. So it's the same as the front raise. You're just picking your arm up to the side, slight pause at the top. 